But let's talk about five by five, um, because yeah. it'd be great to get into sex education and, and low-key, but yeah, um, five sure. by five was kind of something that, um, it was your first, I guess, like TV commission. Yeah. Um, and obviously that's quite a big thing for any director to be able to mm. say you've done te telly, that's kind of you know what everybody mm. wants to know, chicken and egg situation obviously. Um, so how did you come to um, sort of hang out with, with this, you and Idris over there, how did you come to sort of <laughs> get in contact with him? Did he discover you or did you find out he was looking for someone? How did that work? So basically when I got 5x5 five five, I was working for the NHS and so there was a script editor called Gillian Clark. Um, and we'd follow each other on Twitter and I just didn't know what a script editor did and I'm a, obviously I'm a writer so I just said to her, oh, hey, can I maybe just buy you a coffee and just pick your brains about how your job works because, you know, I want to be a professional writer and I'd love to know just how your job works. So anyway, so I met her and obviously asked questions about script editing but at the same time she was like, you know, I'm actually script, edi um, script editing on this uh, project for the BBC and I, I'm going to put your name, like, you know, in the hat, so to speak, and let, we'll see if you get, you know, if they, they want to meet you. So, yeah, and they did. And I, I remember being quite um, surprised, but obviously really excited, because I should say, like, five by five, generally, it's a drama. Like, there's five episodes, and they're all five minutes, and it was led by Kat Jones, who's an amazing writer, and she essentially, I guess, was, like, running it, um, like the writer's room, but then basically the other episodes were all written by writers that BBC Writer's Room were all really excited basically and were kind of coming up. So yeah, and so I think the thing they were looking for in a director was someone to do all the episodes, but also I guess in that sense bring a universal kind of tone to it all and also just like a look obviously, because some of the shorts, like the middle one was a comedy, but you know the beginning and last one were definitely drama. So. I think that was the really key thing for me. But again, like I went in to pitch for it. I definitely called up a few friends of mine who were directing TV, like either people I'd met through short film festivals and my friend Will from um, film school, Will McGregor, like he, he'd gone and done Misfits after he graduated. So he was very generous with advice. And I, I just spoke to a lot of my friends basically who were already doing television and said, you know, what will people expect of me in a TV interview? The main thing they told me was like, you know, put your pitch into... Um, like kind of PDF format and Lindsay Miller I remember gave me advice as well who's an amazing TV director and yeah I was just very grateful but essentially I kind of put I don't know if this is helpful for anyone but it was like basically just like a kind of landscape PDF and I broke down like you know what I thought it should look like the tone I had some because uh, they sent me some of the scripts I had some like script thoughts um, yeah and I didn't really try and second guess what they were looking for I think that's the other thing and I've done that with every job that I've pitched on I just was very like, you know, this is how I think, this is how I would cover it, this is what I think would be good for story. Um, yeah, and like, and I, I knew I was a little bit of a gamble because like I said, I hadn't done drama before. I was generally known as a comedy person. And as I'm sure, I mean, I did smear after this, but I'm sure as you can see, like from my other shorts as well, like, it's quite heightened comedy. So yeah, and then I met them and no, they liked my pitch for it. So for me as a director, it was an amazing confidence boost, but also learning experience because it kind of showed me that I could do drama because I just, I don't know, I just, I think not that I was like hiding behind comedy because like I love comedy, but I just was always like, oh, well, I'll, you know, there's so many directors that are good at drama, but I guess my thing's comedy. But then doing this, I was like, oh, I really like drama. This is really fun. Was, and Was yeah. there anything specifically that, that, that you think they responded to in like in, in the, the document or what you said in terms mm. of your take on it? Was there anything that they kind of told you that's mm. why we decided you were the right person? They never said specifically, but I think something that I felt anyway, because I grew up near a lot of estates and, you know, the, the show is set around an estate and I was like, you know, it's a show about hope and it's warm and I think we should bring that into how it looks, for example. So I had like, as references, I think I had Girlhood and a film called My Brother the Devil and they're both like set on estates, but like they're beautifully shot and it's very warm, the colour palette. And so that was really key for me. I didn't want it to look like dreary or grey or, and yeah, and so that had like a lot of like references like that. And then I think beyond that, I guess just like, you know, what I connected with the story. But yeah. I think I think from um, having looked at other stuff that you mm. put together, pitch stuff for, because we're going to get to Loki in a second. Mm. To keep teasing that, are we ever going to get there? <laughs> um, but um, uh, the thing that I think that um, I remember uh, Tom responding to was that you did essentially what you did just then, which was that you distilled mm. down the show into an emotional resonance, and then yeah. spun that out into how you would approach it production-wise, which mm. comes down to color palette and shooting style and, yeah. and all those things. And I think that that's essentially. Um, 
it, it's 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 what people are looking for because it, it, it helps them to understand what it is that everybody's looking for that I think to understand mm -hmm. what they're doing. Do you, do you think mm -hmm. that is? I mean, do you think you helped them to understand what it was? Um, it feels like it might have been for me, but I can't. I guess I couldn't say because I'm I'm not in their head. But I like yeah. I think if it was me, for example, like I don't know, like if I was putting together a writer's room for something, the thing that I would be looking for and excited by is sort of someone coming in. And I suppose saying like, oh, this I responded to, and then you're like, okay, well, that's what I think, so we're on the same page. But then also, I guess, opening up a door in the story that you just haven't thought about before. And I think that's quite exciting. So I mm. suppose as a director, you're always hoping to do that, <laughs> like, I guess, when you're coming in. What was yeah. the um, uh, kind of the overall experience with, with working with a production company, with the BBC? Like, what was all that like? It was amazing. I mean, like, so I quit my job <laughs> at the <laughs> NHS, which was great. Um, but I did, I did like working there, but you know, I just was like, oh, I get to go be a filmmaker now. And yeah, it was amazing. I mean, I hadn't, I'd obviously worked with a lot of comedians, some who were quite well known, but I'd never worked with obviously someone on the level of Idris Elba. And what was so humbling and amazing to work with him was that, because one, like I was quite young when I did that. And I was like, I just didn't know like what it was going to be like, because you know, most of the crew were older than me, but everyone was really respectful and lovely and professional basically and working with Idris was amazing because you know he came to set and I was like oh, I wonder what this is going to be like like giving him direction because he's so experienced but he was really collaborative and really like oh what do you think and let's try this and let's try that and you know we would try stuff sometimes and it wouldn't work but the fact that he would do stuff like that to me was really exciting because I think you can only honestly it's like the comedy thing but you can only really get to the good stuff if you're willing to kind of try something and fail so no, it was an amazing experience. And then just from a practical standpoint, you know, again, other than working with Sky on my script, I hadn't, you know, as a director, done an edit and had to send that to a commissioner. So, you know, I was working with my producer from the BBC, Richard, and it was great, like, getting their input because they're coming with all this experience. So, yeah, I mean, it was life-changing, honestly. <laughs> but I should say, actually, though, it was life-changing. But um, so it was a 25-minute short um, broke into five episodes, which BBC put on like on their YouTube and I think on iPlayer as well. But I couldn't get um, my TV break still, even though it was 25 minutes and obviously some of the stuff I was going up for was 30 minutes because comedy background. Um, yeah, like, I mean, I was getting interviews, which was a massive difference. Like, I wasn't getting those interviews before that. But even then, I, I just, yeah, people weren't, I don't know, giving me the chance. I mean, usually, like, I'd have a really good interview and everyone was really nice, but they would just kind of be like, oh, actually, we've gone with this director because, you know, they've got more experience. So I went back to temping after 5x5, five five, hence me working in a fire extinguisher company. When the I fire got extinguisher education. factory moment. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Find us at nodirectionhome.com.